Hello my friends and welcome again to my video channel. Shall I really say welcome? Today is a sad day, a very sad day. This transceiver here, remember we had 11 parts to repair it, to bring it back to life. A lot of effort, time and money wasted. It came back again yesterday. No output. And I'll show you what happened. The owner told me when he operated the transceiver sometime, suddenly some smoke came out of it <coughs> through the perforation where the PA brick is located. I took it out and we see here two burnt resistors. This one and this one. The third one is okay. This is bad, this is bad. On the other side for the other tra uh, transistor, here's the final transistors, all three are okay. But two resistors are burned. I checked it and this constellation there is no output. These are the damping resistors which are there only to prevent any oscillations. They have no other influence. The uh, bias setting is not influenced by these resistors. We will have a look at, at it in the um, schematic. In the schematic, we can see that this resistor is bad, is burned, and this resistor. These two resistors are burned. This is okay. And this feedback, which prevents oscillation, I think, especially low frequency oscillations, because here is a an inductor, but these two are burned. This is not. The 100 ohm is okay. These uh, 10 ohm resistor is burned and this resistor is burned. It's very interesting to, to see that this resistor, this and this is okay on the other side. What happened? My first assumption is okay. When this transistor goes bad and the base voltage goes up to the collector potential, could be, could happen, and this transistor will burn. Well, but the DC voltage here on the base wouldn't burn this re uh, resistor because there is a capacitor. A capacitor blocks DC, so it cannot be a high DC voltage. And even if there would be a high DC voltage, it would go there to this one and this resistor would also be burned. If there something happens, this is only the bias in feed. Dot 7 volt or so, dot 7, 5 volt in case of transmit. So. We cannot assume that this uh, transistor has a DC problem. But what happened? And on the other hand, uh, uh, DC voltage again wouldn't uh, disturb, destroy this transistor. What could it be? My assumption is high frequency oscillations. A heavy high frequency oscillation we cause to go this bad and this one. And the high frequency is blocked by this circuit. But on the other hand, we have here a bypass capacitor. And if we have here a high High frequency voltage, this would go via this path also, also to, to this side and destroy this ones. In the moment I have no real explanation what happened. Any high voltage coming in from the power supply over this path here, hmm, no. Could destroy it, yes, but they are really burnt, they are charcoal. It's not a short pulse, it was a, an overload for, from, for some seconds at least 5 or 10 seconds, which is necessary. I will take out these, uh, the whole board and examine it, what happened. Both transistors are out. <coughs> this is a good one, was located here. This is a bad one, which was located here, where we have the burnt resistors. This is a connection base, two emitter connectors and the collector. When I measure the good one from base to emitter, I use my component tester, you can see here positive base emitter voltage, 0 0.6 volt, 2 volt per division and here is at minus 6 volt base emitter the voltage is limited. It's a Sina diode effect between base and collector. You can see it's a, a normal diode, no limitation. And now when I go to the wrong one, to the bad one, 
base and emitter we see nothing when we connect base and collector we have the same picture as we had in the healthy one and the good one so we can say in the bad one the base emitter uh, connection is bad it is interrupted maybe internally the base uh, connector is uh, evaporated i don't know only we have the base uh, collector diode not base emitter in the bad one well that's ugly and now i think it's obvious what happened we have with this transistor the base emitter junction failed so we have here an open input only the base collector junction is still working but the collector has a potential of 13.6 volt so this diode is always blocked and what happens here here we have the input uh, transformer here are the two driver transistors and the power of the driver is fed to these two transistors in the push-pull configuration we know it this is the center tap and the problem is if this junction phase then we have here no possibility to drive power into this transistor and what happens the power is still produced the two um, drivers here are providing power they don't know that this transistor failed so they provide the power which is necessary to drive these two transistors this transistor is still okay as we have seen but this not but there is power fed into this transistor especially the positive half wave which makes this transistor conductive under normal conditions this voltage here is limited it's a voltage of 0.65 volt it will rise to up up to one volt or so in the practice to fully drive this transistor and down to zero or maybe a little bit of negative voltage to uh, block this transistor and when we have here negative voltage we have a full positive voltage and vice versa when we have here uh, a negative or zero voltage <coughs> then we have here full positive voltage but again not more than one volt and the 10 ohm resistor can withstand one volt <coughs> because it, 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 it's only uh, one volt square divided by 10 ohms that's 100 milliwatt and we have here half a watt but when this transistor here is not conductive between base and emitter there is no load and what does this power do this power needs a drain and when this drain is deleted the power looks for a new drain what is a new drain this resistor and this resistor and we are operating with high frequency so the capacitor here is not relevant and the voltage increases the high frequency voltage increases considerably because this load is missing and then this 10 ohm and half watt resistor is is destroyed also this 2 ohm resistor here that's the reason why these two transistors are roasted even with this capacitance series here because high frequency 0 0.1 microfarad is not blocked by this uh, capacitor as we know so instantaneously these two resistors are roasted and this resistor not because we have here an inductor in series which prevents high frequency flowing through this 100 ohm it's only there to uh, have a negative feedback for, for low frequencies to prevent any low frequency oscillations but high frequency 10 megahertz 20 megahertz is blocked here so only these two resistors are roasted and that's what happened in this circuit it's obvious now not it's not self oscillation as i have assumed in the first moment it is simply the missing load here and these two resistors are now the new victims and they are roasted simple when we know what's happening here and now what to do well uh, the transistors which have been installed were not the uh, what was it SRF 2337 as stated in the manual installed are the MRF 454 matched pair of course MRF 454 
these transistors are still available on the market. The prices are hmm, okay, you can imagine, especially for a matched pair. There's a substitution SRF3749 match pair, but this substitution is not cheaper. I have to talk to the owner what to do. Whether it's uh, whether he's willing to spend some more euros, dollars. I think the whole action will take 200 uh, euros or dollars, including uh, shipping and maybe some taxes have to be paid and so. Or whether we uh, will stop this project now with this transceiver and then we have a, a well repaired parts donator. That's the option. <laughs> I have to, to talk with the owner and to decide what to do. It's very sad that this project <clears throat> went into this direction. It is as it is. I can't change it. That's life. Or the French say, c'est la vie. There are other words on the market. I don't uh, say. Anyhow, uh, maybe I will continue this series or I will stop it. When the series is stopped and you don't see new videos, then it's a parts donator. Stay healthy, stay tuned. See you on this channel.